Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. So glad to have you join me today. I have for you a very special passenger who thinks that she can disrespect me, and then I give her a ride to her destination. What happened was she asked me if she can put her stroller in the front seat. It's kind of silly to request. The trunk has more than enough space to accommodate it and sort of common sense to put it there. I mean, who wants wheels pressing up against their car's upholstery while they are driving? Anyway, I told her that it should go in the trunk. Somehow, she felt that what I said was obscene and flipped out about it. Once she exited the vehicle, after I told her to, she threatened to punch me in the face. Yeah. Crystal? Yeah. Talking about the stroller, really? What? I said the way this is all rammed up on the side. You talking about the stroller? I'm sorry. Did that upset you? Yeah, you did. And all you right. didn't even help me. Okay. Um, Come on, Papa. You should probably get another car, Miss. Like that's I'm, I can't drive someone who's giving me attitude. I'm not even talking to you. Yeah, that's so. Exit my I'm vehicle. Get you. another I'm car. To my grandson. Exit the vehicle, get another car. You're right. Come on, let's go. I'm sorry. Excuse me? Excuse me? What did I say? So your best bet is to go ahead. You're you're gonna punch me in the face? What? You wanna what you said to me? What did I say? What did I say? What do you think I said? What did you just say? What did I say? What did I say? Are we gonna keep repeating ourselves? Right, so go about your business. You too. You too. Have a lovely day. Go about your business. Are you a broken record or something? Bye bye. You're a great role model. Good for you. That's why the car banged up on the side now. I see why. Exactly. But you, but you still want to sit here. I'm waiting for this car to pass, actually. 